Espresso martinis are like if Red Bull Vodka started a hedge fund. Vodka, espresso. Hey, this is the only way I want Russia infiltrating anything. <laughs> USSR turned. I like my martinis like I like my mission trips. Expensive and using third world countries for selfies. Honduras! Excellent beef. Four Locos walked so espresso martinis could give me the runs. These are kind of like posting the black square. Once one friend did it, we all had to follow suit. Mm, it's giving classy alcoholic. Oh, Halloween is coming. November 1st is when this is out. And is it Christmas time yet? Is your, Chris, is your tree up or no? No. Dude, what are you guys going to... Rachel and I had this conversation. We're going to be gone all of December. Is she devastated? Do we even put up a tree? Yeah, that's weird, right? Yeah. So we, yeah, we're going on a big Hawaiian Australian tour run through the entire month of December. And so that's why I'm not an over tree guy, but I think I am this year. Because I want to, I want to have, I'm going to be able to put the tree up. That'd be weird. Oh, we are going to do it. I'd like to do it. <laughs> okay. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Katie. Uh, so you'll well, do all that? Merry Christmas, Kennedy. Yes. Yeah, so that's oh, what I was Christmas like. Christmas is here, I guess. That's what I was waiting for you to be like, so you got that? <laughs> Y'all let us know, man. There's very point of contention with people. Um, but we are back in studio. Um, give us a five star. All we want for Christmas is five stars on your favorite yeah. podcasting platform and a subscription to our YouTube channel. I wanted fun new like square box things to hold the microphone, and we already got those now. We got those now. So now I just Check want a five star out. review. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's right, y'all. So enjoy this episode. Let's do this roll music. Correct opinion. Correct opinion. Katie, why do you shave? Um, I get my legs get hot. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, that's a great answer. No matter why you shave, Harry's has got you covered, baby. That's right. The best shave of your life, the price you'll love. Uh, legendary, high quality razors. Uh, to skin products like exfoliating face wash and hydrating lotion. Harry's give you a premium shave without the premium price tag. I shave my beard real nice with the Harry's razors. I get the cream. I even use the styling paste. They got it. Their brain Ooh. is so clean. And right now they have a starter set. It's $13 value, but you can get it for $3 at harrys.com slash tray. I mean, that's, I mean, that's basically free. Mm -hmm. I mean, why would you? $3. Why would you Girl math, $3 is curious. free. Yeah. Girl math, boy math, they math. Get in there. Uh, get a $13 starter set for just $3 at harrys.com slash tray. That's harrys.com slash tray for just a $3 starter set. Get your best shave ever with Harry's razors and skincare products. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. You're oh. just laying there and you're just like, oh, come on. I can't sleep. My mind is like Usain Bolt in there. Yeah. Seabiscuit. Seabiscuit. I mean, classic race guy. Wow. <laughs> racing, wow. racing, racing, racing. Wow. Um, well, therapy can help you get your brain out of its own way. That therapy helps nice. you figure out what's holding you back so you can work for yourself instead of against yourself. I've done therapy, big proponent of it. And if you're thinking about trying, if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. You should fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. That's right. Make your brain your friend with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash correct today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H E L P.com slash correct. Better help, it's the best. I hate feminism. <laughs> oh. You want to know why? Uh, you know, I, I support okay. women. I'm Trey, glad they're getting... <laughs> Trey goes, all right, I got something to start with. But you've seen these studies, Derek, you can pull this up quickly. <laughs> you've seen these studies where, where like, um, millennial dads are, are way more hands-on than any dad in history. Yeah, and they can't fix anything. They're hands-on <laughs> task rabbit. <laughs> they're, yeah, yeah. They're hands-on. Yeah. I can get it somewhere. But like a lot of our dads didn't change a single diaper. I had to do, I was changing so many. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, I see. And Thanksgiving, it's Thanksgiving month. Y'all, I used to be so fired up for Thanksgiving. My late Grammy, God rest her soul, died of 2020, not of COVID. She didn't believe in it either. <laughs> and I, she, I mean, Thanksgiving, the Thanksgiving meal she would whip up. Unbelievable, right? No okay. recipes. She's in here doing her Grammy thing. Yeah. And on top of Walter that, it White. was it was as a man on Thanksgiving Day, you'd walk in the house, it'd smell great. You'd say, "Alert me when it's ready," and you sit down and eat. <laughs> and then they say, "Go back and lay down." And we clean it all up. That's how they used to do it back in the day. And now, and now, now what's Thanksgiving? The 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 greatest generation is gone, and now it's. Everyone volunteer for a dish, and you got your 21 year old cousin bringing Lord knows what <laughs> microwavable mac and cheese. I'm like, this isn't how Grammy did it. Thanksgiving dinner is in trouble. I haven't had a good one in years. 
you It's because you we, we're, a losing, lot of them. we're losing <laughs> we're losing that old school way of hey, women get in there and get after it. It's gone. Okay. It's dead. I will do that if you can show me that you could build a single thing or fix anything in the house. Do you have to register for the draft? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Or war. laughs> yeah, I'll go to war. <laughs> I'll, that's not. That's an interesting argument. I'll. I can learn how to build a house if you can give me my Grammy's dressing, man. Okay. <laughs> Deal. And clean it all and do Deal, it all. Deal, because we got a task rag, rabbit coming this afternoon to hang curtains. <laughs> <laughs> You're, uh, you, told, you swore you wouldn't to mention that. <laughs> it's efficient. Time value of money. I know, man. Dude, when I was little, we when we moved out to the farm, you know, my parents like built our house. When you were that age, I, Wait, I thought... Like, with their hands? That's what I thought. Oh. <laughs> You know, he hired a contractor to do 95% of the work. We painted it. Uh, mm-hmm. But I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. My, da- my dad knows how to build homes. Yeah. When he said, like, yeah, we built our own house out in Stratford. I was like, wow. It wow. seems like it's really well built. Yeah. I've never seen him lay brick before. I guess he just learned how to do that before <laughs> yeah. I was born. Huh. Y'all did paint the whole house, though. I remember painting a lot. I think, uh, I think my dad did do more than probably most dads do because he's a different generation than us. I think he did all the hardwood floors. I think he did. He tiled the... Own, his own bathroom. Yeah. And he also nice. said, never again. So I think he learned <laughs> it's kind of some stubbornness. Like, hey, no, it's my bathroom. I'll do the tile. That was a, that was old school way. My parents built the house they're in. The same thing. They didn't actually. But Someone else's bare hands. Um, it was, you had to, we had to have cut some costs some way. Get the kids some labor in there. Yeah. So we went and before, they had had it all built where the walls were up, but they hadn't laid like the brick yet. Okay. So it's like that outside wall. And we went, and the whole house, we lined up and and taped up this metallic material that's meant to like in, insulate better and save okay. utilities. So we spent hours just huh. plastering this up there, and that was I was like, I was like yeah, can we? I mean, you've spent how much already? Let's just get someone else. Could someone else do that? Someone did did have that argument recently. They were like, I'm gonna hire a contractor to finish this out in my house, um, but I think I'm just gonna do some of the tasks. And someone said. You know, they're already going to be there. And so, like, the tasks that you can actually do, they could do in h- less than half the time. Yeah. And it's going to mm-hmm. be probably cheaper for them to do it. So, yeah, I think point. that's the difference in our generation. I mean, my dad can't. We have brunch to go to. Yeah. <laughs> they had nothing better to do. <laughs> so I understand. But Taylor Swift wasn't at the game last week. I need to figure out why. Mm-hmm. My, my dad can't believe that I don't mow my own yard. I think it's the only time he's ever showed disappointment in me. <laughs> you know, like, Son, I'm proud of you. I mean, the lawn thing is, is we don't need to talk uh, about that. But God forbid that. you pay a high schooler nine dollars to do a task that would cost you an hour and a half of your time. <laughs> <laughs> that upsets me. Yeah, get out there, do it. I mean, yeah, what a buddy Alan, the guy on the road with us playing the keys, he said his his father. His father's devastated he doesn't wash his car with his own bare hands. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's the right way That's to do great. it. You take care of it. Get up there. You wax it. It's so cosmetic. It doesn't matter. <laughs> take care of it. That's oh, yeah. so funny. That's old school way, man. I uh, Speaking of disappointment, we are get tickets. We just, uh, Australia, we're coming. Like we were talking about, Hawaii, a bunch of cities. TreyKinney.com slash tour. I just put it together. We're going to be Australia for a month. NFL kickoffs at 4 a.m. over there. Dude, you should have seen the 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 Oppenheimer graphics in my head trying to figure out when the Chiefs will be playing as we're flying over there, dude. I mean, it was a it was the most work I've done since high school math. Trying to figure out the time zone, dude. Are you if the Chiefs play at 4 a.m., are you that big a fan you're getting up for it? I don't know yet. I okay. think yeah, <laughs> we will find out. Because okay. on one end, it's like, oh, I'm jet lagged. Perfect. I'll be awake anyway. On the other end, it's like, well, could I record it and just wake up and immediately watch it? Phone on airplane mode, no spoilers. Like five, five is, there's an argument. Four is crazy. That's early. That's military. I, I do agree that you should wake up that early and possibly ruin the rest of your day in a country you'll probably never go to again. I've already been there I once. I do agree <laughs> <laughs> that you should do that, yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to get up and do that. Katie's and so it won't bother you. You'll be asleep. Uh-huh. And then that afternoon, I'll need a nap. Yeah, no. Several hours. <laughs> what if on uh, Sundays in, Hawaii, in Australia, you and I sleep in the same bed, and Katie and Rachel sleep in the same bed? That way, we don't oh. wake them up. We just kind of we See? football in bed. Go. Yeah, Perfect. that's. Perfect. I think that'd be good. I we'll need to go to bed at eight p.m. <laughs> yeah. I think that recording it, watching it a little later, sounds like a better plan. Okay, Man, that'd be tough. How do I record like eleven games? 
<laughs> okay, well. Can you record Red Zone? <laughs> that is not. Dude, watching Red Zone after the fact would be kind of fun. It would Knowing be. it happened six hours ago, but you're still on the edge of your seat. <laughs> I'd have to just turn off my phone. for. Yeah, like, yeah. you got to go airplane. Um, speaking of that, did you see um, Nate Bargatze on SNL? I did, yeah, I mean, insane. I saw yeah. that. His opening monologue, his joke about, um, you know, I know so little about history that every documentary I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, great. Pearl Harbor, I was just as surprised as they were. <laughs> so funny. That's a great. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah. I mean, like, that's what Sundays could be for us in Australia. It'd be so fun. Yeah. We have no idea. Edge of our seat. <laughs> but yeah. Get, get tickets. We'll see you down under. Very down exciting. Down under. We were just putting the, starting to really get the logistics together, getting excited. Katie is, uh, Katie and I, she's frustrated with me because she's, she's like, Trey, packing for a month for me, for a baby, got me very stressed. And I maybe didn't care that much, <laughs> which is wrong. But how are we feeling? Because I'm like, I think I legit might pack four outfits and just wash. And it's like, yeah, we're, it's so far. It's so long. And different cares? hemisphere. It's summer. Right. So isn't that, that's kind of nice. We don't have to Less pack for different fabric. climates. Right. Less fab. There is that is true. That is true. I think it's it's less of me. It's more of Thomas, like figuring out. You know, just it's not going to take them. I just need to figure some things out. Like, do we bring his car seat? Do I rent a car seat? Do I bring the stroller? No. Like it is tricky. They our strollers don't work there. Well, yeah, different side our, of the sidewalk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have to get a <laughs> um, left-handed stroller. <laughs> um, <laughs> No, the <laughs> car seats are, our, our car seats are supposedly, not supposedly, they are illegal down there. But I talked to oh, a girl. Yeah, they'll, they'll lock you up. I mean. Remember their COVID lockdown? They do that to people. Wow. For the stroller. I don't That's know if it's just a, it was probably just a fine. But I asked a girl who's been there. She lived in Papua New Guinea. So she would go to Australia a good bit with her okay. kids. And she was like, we just use ours. So we'll probably just do that. But. You know, there's just like logistics of diapers and pouches and all that stuff. That pouches, kangaroo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, like I don't know how many kangaroos are going to bring be, your own. So <laughs> I don't know how many pouches they need. <laughs> do I put Thomas in the pouch, or will the zoo do that? How does it work? Yeah, yeah in I Australia. Really, where do, where do you put the koala? Pouch or, yeah. So I'm gonna eat some fun. kangaroo. Dead do, or alive? Uh, dead. Do they same? Eat, they eat Sushi. kangaroo. Yeah, apparently like it's delicious. Jerky or something? Really? Yeah. I thought that was like their, you know. Their dog. Pri their prize <laughs> they're, they're animal. Yeah. They don't have pets. Yeah. yeah, they don't have kangaroo pets. <laughs> no. I think the the Australians do not like kangaroos. I think they're like our deer, where it's like all they're good for is get hit by cars kind of thing. Aren't they pretty aggressive? They're like deers that punch you. Deers yeah. that do CrossFit, yeah, no. yeah. Oh, wow. and have a good right hook. Did you guys oh. see the emu war that Australia had? No. It's a great Wikipedia article from yeah. what I remember. But uh, The it, emus attacked the people? It was the people versus the emus, and the emus won, yeah. basically. They're scary birds. They're like if ostriches were like... It's like ostriches with management problems. Yes, mm -hmm. ostriches with red eyes. Mm -hmm. The one, one of the only businesses in my hometown, we randomly... I mean, we don't have a sit-down restaurant, but we have an exotic animal paradise... We oh would drive gosh. through safari. I mean, I feel like, you know, lions were getting out once a month. I mean, the whole town was on edge. But they did, you could drive, like, in your grandpa's truck, just drive through the safari. And the emus, I mean, they were trying to kill me. I'm nine years old. It was terrifying. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> Wait, like some... Like, you were there when you were nine? Yes. And oh, the emus specifically tried to kill me. Like, I'm not going back. I mean, I'm not in a cage. I'm not in the car. I'm in the back. I'm in the bed of a truck. And, you know, I'm giving this food. And the emu, I mean, it's life or death for him. And he's just going to town. Trey, did you miss that this was in his hometown? Yeah, okay, sorry. I, I didn't, aren't <laughs> emus in America? Only at, we, we transport, we import. Yeah, I mean, it was like a zoo. It was just like a, you know. Okay. Yeah, the, it's native to Australia? That I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Dang, dude, emus, yeah, I don't, you ever seen an ostrich? They're kind of, they're, they're chill. Yeah, they're, I think ostriches are one of those animals that are like not really cool enough to get their own zoo exhibit, but you're, you can't have them as a pet. Just kind of no man's land for an animal. Um, are they the birds that put their head in the sand? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're bashful, they're cute. Emus, you don't mess with an emu. No. Mm -hmm. They attack you on the streets out there. It's terrifying. You see, Australia is known for that. You see the guy who got uh, suplexed by like a sperm whale while he was windsurfing? Didn't just windsurfing and the whale just. <laughs> oh my god! Can you imagine? Yeah, Australia. 
Do you see the so Australian guy who the kangaroo like took his dog, like had his yeah. dog in a headlock and he just like fought him? Mm-hmm. That was pretty cool. Oh, that was all time. I'd be yeah. like, have fun up. with my dog. <laughs> oh, Katie, have fun with my dog. <laughs> it's, your, it's your son. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> I went to a zoo in Australia the one time I was there. Um, kind of fun. Got to pet kangaroos, which, you know, felt a little weird to do in Australia. I feel like I should have done that in America. But they had a, what's the animal, the, the doge like logo, like that animal? The uh, Doge logo. Oh, it's a uh, 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 dingo. Oh yeah, that might be it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that. You know what? That's a hundred percent chance. That's it. Um, they have. I love those. that. If asked someone like, "Do you know the answer to this?" I go, "I do," and you, go, you might be right. That definitely could be it. Yeah, you <laughs> didn't really hesitate. Thanks for trying. <laughs> what is a dingo? Dingo. Um, it's an Australian dog. Oh. So yeah, that's what I was gonna bring up. They look like basically a lab, but in Australia, they're wild enough to where they just keep them in zoos. So it was kind of interesting. It was just like seeing a golden retriever in the in the zoo. What? It's like, should he be in there? Like, oh yeah, he'll rip your face off. Um, but they just oh. look like a dog. Yeah, zoos over there are very different. They have koalas, kangaroos, um, dingoes, very different. They have for a while they stopped this because Australia's all white people. They would they had some Asians okay, in a Trey. cage over there. I'm not Trey. I'm against that, but it's very exotic to them. Too very far. yeah, I know. Too far. I agree. I knew where I was going. Didn't want to <laughs> <laughs> just start like which which race is he going to say? <laughs> this is these are dingoes, Katie. Oh, it looks like a wolf, like a like a golden retriever colored no, wolf. No, I think there's actually obviously probably plenty of Asian people there, but they don't have black people in Australia. Oh they, they have like gosh. some, but it's going to be very fascinating to go to a place. There's not they're very rare over there. Which makes sense historically, if you know history, which I'm learning. Mm-hmm. But I can't wait to go over there. Did you see? I saw this viral clip recently. The way they just um, say words, they say, guess how you think Australians say uh, aluminum? Uh, uh, let me get into character real quick. Yep, sure. Uh, dingo, dingo, kangaroo. Dingo. Get Al- back, you emu. Aluminum. <laughs> You just said it the exact same, but just <laughs> like a growl. Yep, that's my um, guess. That might be wrong. Yeah, that uh, might. Aluminium. 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 It Aluminium. Sounds Aluminium like bottle. Harry Potter. It sounds like they just got the, the letters in the wrong order. Yeah, that's there's no I at the end there. Aluminium. 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 Do they say uh do they say vitamin instead of vitamin? Like mm. some people who talk funny like to do that. Mm. Bear vitamin. grills. Vitamin. They say fillet instead of fillet. Really? Ba- basil. Is that a basil? I know uh, instead of um, no, they like to say nar. And I think afternoon. Nar. They like to say uh, ar- nar. arvo, I think means afternoon. Yep. That's all I remember. Arvo. Mm-hmm. I think. Are you going to dress like Steve Ir- Irwin when you're there? Oh, that's a good call. Yeah, that's the only celebrity oh. lookalike I ever get is Steve Irwin's son. So maybe you should take He's advantage big time. Of that. I'm What's sure he is. His name big again? Time. Robert. Robert Irwin. Dude, I should. Dude, that's a great call. Just... I should just perform as Robert Irwin every show. Hello. That should be a big bit while Have we're Have you over ever there. dressed yeah. up as him for Halloween? No. You you should. I mean, so he's an amazing know. animal. It's beautiful. I absolutely need to do material about Robert Irwin while I'm there. Mm-hmm. That's great. Thanks, Derek. Like animal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I you should. Think, you think they would? Because you used to joke about you know his Steve Irwin's death. Do you think they take it well in Australia? I feel like it. They'd be would, furious. I don't know. I don't know. You kind of hear things. Because we loved him a lot over here, just as much as they did. Yeah. And it seems like the Australian sense of humor is like a darker sense of humor anyway. So they might appreciate it. That's true. Wow. Go for it. Ah, we'll just never go back if you mess it up. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> I'll know after that first show pretty <laughs> early pretty on. Pretty quickly, yeah. That is going to be interesting. There's definitely going to be things in each of our set that don't translate to Australia. And we will find out after that first show, probably. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to figure that out. Which I'm, which I'm excited. So get tickets. We'll see you down under. I know we got some recti listeners. Appreciate it. Let's get to. I've got a lot of fun content I came across on the internet that I want to dive into. Let's start off hot with the BYU campus video. Okay. <clears throat> this was on going all over TikTok. People, we've seen these videos, right? They go up to kids on campus, ask them a question. Double, double it. it or pass it. So this was a simple question posed to BYU students, are, which are often Mormon. Oh, well, they're all Mormon. Can you go to BYU and not be Mormon? If you're an athlete, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> oh. that's how it always works. Wow. Yeah, SBU is kind of the same But way. they got to follow the rules still. Mm-hmm. Remember that dude? That basketball player? That basketball player. There's deeper stuff that came out about that one. Mm. Jimmer? No, the they had a dude who was their, their important player, 
and it, he come, I guess, confessed, or it came out that he had premarital sex, and he was like suspended and couldn't play in a very important game. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, think before you act, kids. Have a sip of alcohol or kill a puppy? Kill a puppy? Uh, kill a puppy for what? sure. Alcohol. Sip of alcohol. Hundred percent. Sure. I would rather kill a puppy that is terminal. Illness and a sip of alcohol or kill a puppy. Boom, I win. Hit a vape or watch your grandma die. Would she be dying of old age? <laughs> watch her die. Uh, yeah. Would it be like gruesome? Probably the second one. <gasps> Hit a vape. Hit a vape. <laughs> and marital sex or end racism. No way. Don't, don't do it yet. What'd she say? What'd she say? The audio is. And first, first one. one. <laughs> first one. That it was almost. If she was just more. If she had made, her mind made up quicker, it'd be worse. For someone to say, "Would you end all premarital sex or end all racism?" and she's like, "I mean, 15 seconds." Hmm. Oh my gosh. She oh Mitch McConnell that. I thought she was just McConnelling for a second. <laughs> That's one of the. This is the one of the craziest videos. I've seen Premarital sex or end racism. I'm just gonna go with end racism just because okay. I like swords a lot. Because he like because what? He likes swords? What do you say? I'm just gonna go with end racism just because okay. I like swords a lot. Oh, that's the mystery. Swords? Is that like one black person he knows? Maybe. End. What? I don't know what he said. I like swords a lot. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even. I, I like to go in blind. I hadn't seen the whole video, but yeah, the hit a vape or watch your grandma die is a great question. <laughs> and I think I was like, I mean, she lived a long, happy life, right? Is she dying anyways? Or still, I don't care. I don't Freaking care if it is old age, natural causes. Cloud on my grandma, dude. <laughs> Those are crazy. Blown Wait, what was the first question? Uh, drink, have a sip of oh, alcohol, yeah. or kill a puppy. I don't even like dogs, and I would never kill a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. Oh, okay, Katie's made I think claim. this video is crazy. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, it's that is wild. The best is in primal sex or racism. She was like, mm. it's almost worse to answer it. I guess I'll go with racism. <laughs> it's like yeah. you should be more. She went with the first one. She did. I know. And the second guy, yeah, went back and forth. Went with the second one, but still, he had to think about it. That's kind of sad. That is That's very fa- sad. But Because it's easy, the whole BLM thing and all that, like, I think it was easy for a lot of us white people to be like, I don't, I've never met a racist. Is it that bad? It's like, well, I guess there are pockets where people are like, I don't know if we need to end it. Yeah. There's other things. Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> Not a good luck for BYU. Oh, like, man. Uh, great idea by that girl interviewing Welcome to people. the Big 12. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get out to Provo one of these days for uh, when my when Oklahoma State plays out there at BYU. That'd be a fun journey. Just go just go visit. Go see people. Yeah. Go around campus. Get a cougar Bring tail. Dirt, yeah. Kind of a cougar kill. Cougar tail. It's like they're... Oh. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was a weird thing. They hunt down some cougars, if you know what I mean. <laughs> what? Whoa. There. I already got one. <laughs> uh, funny. Uh, everyone guess how old you think Katie is in the comments. In the comments. Height, weight, age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be great. Uh, yeah, let's go. Uh any more thoughts on that? I mean, that one is just fun though. It's it's quite a bit to unpack. Uh, Kill a puppy's brutal. Like, I don't think actually if you if you took one of those kids and you like you had a golden retriever yeah. by the neck and like a old fashioned, and you're like literally do yeah. one. <laughs> I don't think they'd be like, oh, I'm about to, I am legend. This is <laughs> yeah. Is there, is there any other campus where you can get those wild of answers that you guys can think of? Any other school uh, that? Yeah, I mean, what is, there's some of those liberal uh, colleges that'll probably give, give you something crazy too. Oh, yeah. Wherever like Westboro Baptist people go to college, mm-hmm. they might give you some pretty interesting answers. Bob Jones University. Yeah. Wherever, wherever Gun Girl was from. Yeah. Kent. You, you could find some opposite ends of the spectrum both ways. It would be funny to do it the opposite. Like, yeah, you go to... Evergreen State. Kent State or whatever. Like, would you rather do meth or own a puppy? Like, yeah, I just do meth. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, wow. Yeah, Appalachia State. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> would 
Would you rather date Taylor Swift or Taylor, your cousin? Uh, uh, I'm more, at least keep it low key. Taylor Swift travels a lot, so. Go Mountaineers. <laughs> Go Mountaineers. <laughs> Uh, That's a good piece of content. Good find. That mm-hmm. is. Let's go. I want to see. I've, we've joked around with some slam poetry on this podcast, and I came across a slam poet, and I just I just want us to take this in. Okay. I'm okay. excited. It's just a little. I know we're, we're meant to entertain here and be funny and lighthearted, but this really spoke to me. Great. Okay. Um. To be human is to be two things at once. Mm. A paradox. You exist and you do not. As you are living, you are dying, and as you reach for the new, you are saying goodbye to the old, and as you struggle to say, to define yourself so you can say, I know who I am, you're already letting her go. Mm. So I give up. (laughs) No, I give in. All truths are but half-truths, but I will wholeheartedly say to you that opposites are really only two things of the same thing. I mean, look at you. You are infinite and yet living temporarily in these flesh suits. Can you tell I took too many mushrooms? <laughs> Do you know what they told me? That you can try and grasp and define and label yourself all you want, but at the end of the day, at the end of your life, it will all unravel. So why are you grasping on so tight? Mm-hmm. Remember that fight? We were both right. Life is not black and white. We exist in the grave, pretending we do not because there is no box big enough to fit something infinite and finite at the same time. Mm. <laughs> Did you know love are they and hate are the good? same thing, but just a different degree? Extremes meet. Let me explain. Can you gauge the exact moment you grew from who you were to the you sitting in front of me? Mm. Yeah. See, mm. you can finally stop saying, I am A, mm. and start saying, I am. There you are. So be all of it. Yet, so be all of it, yet defined by none of it. I am Jesus. Yeah, basically, I, we're all just say you're God. That was, was kind of the whole thing. So that was Alexis Wren, mm. model, actress, um, doing it all. She has 18 million Instagram followers. From poetry? Wow. Uh, it's hard to say exactly. Okay. I think mainly the way she looks. Modeling career. Mm. I didn't even, I couldn't even, I didn't pay attention to that. <laughs> I. She thought she ate. It there. feels like a lot of people, a lot of the color hair people that come for me would, that looked like they were in the background. They were fired up. They were eating some, some of grandma's dressing. Mm. I think, mm, that's good. What, do you, what was your favorite point from that, Katie? So much of it made so much sense. It's hard to choose. I mean, if I liked slam poetry, I think she did a good job. Really? <laughs> what was that poem about? Um, it's, It was about not really knowing <laughs> when you change from. Pause real who quick, Derek. No, no, stop, stop. Can we do this in 30 seconds? Please, <laughs> please Derek, would you. Uh, this is Katie summarizing slam poetry in 30 seconds. Just get prepared, Derek, whenever we're ready. Um, because all truths are but half truths, and the, the opposite, and there's no such thing as opposite. There's just two things. I, I caught that different. part. Yeah, that, that one she got going and kind of lost me. But or did she, did she find me? <laughs> I See, am. That's me. what makes you think. Uh-huh. Am I even? Am, who am I married to? You or Katie? <laughs> I don't think that's what she was saying. I like the part where she said, "We are infinite yet temporary." Mm-hmm. Right. That's a paradox. Mm-hmm. You just say sh- things that are on opposite ends of the spectrum and just claim them to be true. She must be a Christian. I don't think that was what... Flesh suit was oh. biblical, I believe. <laughs> Sorry, I <just> redownload it. <laughs> oh, the countdown? It's okay. Can Derek get this ready in 30 seconds? <laughs> <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> Flesh suits was biblical. Um, I mean, just gas and... Where do they do these? They don't do these it, in the Midwest. It <laughs> looks like a, a legit stage, didn't it? Like well, it was a whole event. I mean, yeah. There's also a guy like laying down. What behind was the her. joke in? She had a little punchline. Oh, can you tell I've done mushrooms? Did I take too many mushrooms? You ever done mushrooms, Katie? Um, portobello or <laughs> <laughs> we've had a lot of mushrooms. None that made me trip, but yeah, yeah. We do like them, man. We had a nice pasta the other day. Mm-hmm. 
cottage cheese I put in the pasta. Trey is on a huge cottage, cottage cheese is in cheese. right now. I don't know if you guys are following the internet here. Crunchy's Rachel's pretty is, into it. She's fired up about it. Yeah, she is. Healthy alternative. I don't know. I like cottage cheese. It actually. What's she putting it in? Yeah. Dude, anything. Anything. Today, when I left the house, she had celery, carrots, and cottage cheese out. That was it. I think she's just going to eat them all as the, as they are. Yeah, that sounds all right. <laughs> is she mixing it into like ingredients, or she just likes eating straight cottage cheese? I think she she skews mix. Okay. I don't think she just eats it straight up. Yeah, I made a pasta sauce out of it. it was, yeah, I, it was actually really good. Really I think good. you would like it. You would have. Well, it was mush. It was mushroomy. Well, not that. Not that if <laughs> that's he, why. That's it. They're like Jake. You ever tripped mushrooms? Like I don't like the taste. I don't even. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, that's should, not, I should take them out of my pasta. Yeah. So. Mm. No, just but like, if, no, you if you just, just if you can did, suck it up and eat this, you'll have a great time. And like I just really prefer is it mushroom marsala. No, I'll just no. do chicken. Yeah. <laughs> we got it. Yep. All right, Katie. Summarize. Uh, if you had to explain to someone, like, yeah, this this model I really like. She's doing slam poetry. She had this poem. It was about. It was 30, about 29. She doesn't 28, know <laughs> when she changed from who she was to who she is now. <laughs> Two. She thinks that opposite things are just the same. And also she thinks 16, that life is temporary, but also infinite. 11. Okay. 10, and, <laughs> and I think eight, she's just like the saying overarching the overarching point. Five, is that she was four, really high three, when she wrote it. Two, <laughs> one, zero. That's beautiful. Yeah, just opposite. Um, I, I just figured, I don't know who feels, because I know it's out of your comfort zone and I don't want to put, any, put anyone on the spot, but I, I don't know if anyone wants to take a stab at maybe trying their own. Um, Would you please bless us? I'm not feeling particularly inspired, so can you give me like a topic you'd like me to... Um, yeah, I think that's Spoken important. She was trying it. to inspire by just saying, you know, all, all everything's a paradox. So I think what came to my mind, what made me think of is like if if you could maybe give us a quick slam poetry about everything's an onomatopoeia. <laughs> <laughs> when you think about it, life, experiences, relationships, love. Great. <clears throat> Derek, if you... <clears throat> yeah, should we have some? Just, is there music? Make sure we do plenty of encouragements in the form of... Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, should I just go acapella here? Just go no, silent. no, we need. There's not music in slam poetry. You're right. Yeah. No. No. Okay. That, how dare me try to like dampen your art? Thank yeah. you. Thank you. All right. Mm. <clears throat> do you need some? Do you need some to start out? Nope. Thanks. <laughs> this is called "Everything Is an Onomatopoeia." Mm. Zip, zoom, blap. <laughs> Sorry, Katie? Please encourage. Mm. <laughs> My art is not a joke. Mm. I'm going to start again. Zip, zoom, blap, boom. Mm. Okay, now Derek's laughing. So, you guys, Katie, Katie is dying. Seriously, laughing. guys. Trey's the only one that can hold it. <laughs> Trey's the only one with a straight face right now. Seriously. Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to do my yes, art. From the top. You don't do you know, people that were laughing at her. <laughs> no, they were not. She they had were, something to say. 18 million followers. Yeah, she gets plenty of respect. 46 hours. Yeah, the, sorry. He's not a model. He's not a supermodel. Okay. My lips are how I, these are the ones I was born with. So little, <laughs> yeah, little goblin goes zip zoom bling black <laughs> snort. Respect it and stop laughing. Thank you, Trey. Trey's the only one being respectful wow, wow, with okay, what he okay, just said. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Super respectful. <laughs> okay. From the top. <clears throat> Everything is an onomatopoeia. Zoom, zip, blam, bop. Mm. <laughs> Do you notice the words were different that time? It's because I forgot. And also, I did not. Look over there. What is that? Is that? Mm. <laughs> Katie. Give it. Mm, it's, Katie. it's a, mm, it's a before poem. Before he continues, give it. Mm. About onomatopoeias. Mm. Thank you. There's got to be a lot more noises. That's pretty much the whole poem. Holy smack, Batman! Thank you, Derek. <laughs> what happened to the Ant Man? I take off. I take off my headphones. I hear no noise. I put on my headphones. Mm. white noise I check my skin more white noise 
I turn on the TV. It's not working. White. So I mm. eat and eat and I feast and feast until I seem like a pig. Mm. Mm. Thank you. It was, uh, that's everything is an onomatopoeia, <laughs> including me in the end. It's a, it's no, a it's full beautiful. circle. Yeah. Like men are pigs is kind of the, yeah. Got from that. And there was some racial stuff in there too. Mm. Right. Yeah. You took quite a stance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you read between the lines there, it was pretty profound stuff. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for giving me the mm. ability wow. to speak oh, there. Nice. Wow. Trey, would you like to bless us with some spoken sure. word? Sure. I mean, I'm feeling quite moved. Do you have a topic in mind? I mean, what even is a topic? Right. Right. Go from there. Let that let, okay, yeah, let, let that, that kind of be the inspirations. Topics are just words that humans came up with. Art doesn't know topics. This is my uh, spoken word poem titled, What Even Is a Topic? Thanks. Okay. Mm -mm. Topics. Toxic. Labels, nah, trick. Mm. Mm. I wasn't. I looked at Katie when I said that. It's not. It was. I'm not speaking. Good. We should just do more. Mm. Stop trying to figure everything out. Yeah. Our actions don't need a characterization. Mm. All our actions need is characters sensations okay <laughs> hey okay, okay. Mm. okay. Hey, Derek. Derek your mm sound kind of sexual because <laughs> <clears throat> when I think of topics I get angry tell them when I think of sockets electricity goes through me okay. when I think of the tropics the movie Tropic Thunder aggravates me. Okay. Problematic. Blackface. No. Good. That's a label that stays. Don't paint your face black. Or your days are numbered. I never have done that. Good. To be clear. N not that it's not beautiful. <laughs> but are, but are you still shouldn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Have no fear. Good. Uh, because at the end of the day, at the end of your life, when you're laying in your coffin with your husband or your wife, bars. no one's going to be talking about a topic of discussion. Bring it home. They're just going to be fighting over your estate. Because <laughs> <laughs> you've left along the paradox, death, life, money, fame <laughs> this slam poetry thing is a unique game maybe I'm straight maybe I'm gay maybe both at the same time <laughs> paradoxes labels I don't care wipe off the paint good mm, mm, mm. Um. Mm. oh we're done okay <laughs> okay okay that was great. I like the part at the beginning where you kind of shared your thoughts on the Israel-Palestine conflict. Thank you. Yeah. It's beautiful. I didn't, I didn't want to take that side, but yeah, for it's time to start doing it. Done, <laughs> some, for, for something that was supposed to be like, you know, avoiding topics or there are no topic, there were a lot of topics discussed. <laughs> really? That, that's not what I, how I define a topic. Not how oh, I interpreted oh, it. Oh, I see. I see. I think I don't understand slam poetry. You, you clearly don't. Mm, is that supposed to be funny? Would you like to give it a try, Katie? <laughs> I thought you was it supposed to be funny? <laughs> hmm. Did you guys not just do like part of your stand-up bit, or um, no. a lot of my material does rhyme? But no, that no. what I just did was not part of my set. Oh, okay. I should watch the show, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of Dr. Seuss inspired stuff. <clears throat> All right. Well, Gavin Newsom is playing basketball. I heard. <laughs> yes, <laughs> uh, I'm very excited that you have not seen this clip yet, uh, Derek. Go and pull this up, uh, Gavin Newsom. Um, he is the mayor of Sacramento. Not really, but you know, you guys know who he is. Um, I do not. He was in he? China. Um, he was in China. I think wasn't he, Derek? I mean, it looked like China, 
And they looked like Chinese kids. Of course. So <laughs> China. Taylor um, Swift is Chinese. China. Um, Gavin Newsom, governor of California, Katie. Okay, okay. So here he is playing a little <laughs> basketball this weekend. Whistle blows. Oh. Oh. Okay, he has uh, some game though. I mean, the spin move's kind of clean. I and need then... a little. <laughs> oh my he just gosh! Topples the kid and then spanks him. He wrestles him around, rolls over with him, and spanks him, then hugs him. him. Uh, yeah, instant thoughts. Uh, what do you guys think? Guys, about that? not a politics guy. I'm not picking sides, but uh, the because didn't didn't Biden touch? He likes kind of. He was sniffing kids and stuff. We were some why video these, footage of him sniffing. Why are these guys? It's not a good look. We got a lot of politicians that enjoy kids, and I don't like it. As I a mean, father, I like when people do that. As a father, as if like it, it, the only way you care about kids is if you have one. <laughs> well, and as a dad myself, who who had, as a guy who has daughters, I really care about this girl. You should probably just care about her anyway, but. <laughs> I feel like he like almost broke some bones on that kid first by almost crushing him to the ground mm -hmm. and then was a little too playful. I think it's the kid's fault for trying to take a charge in a pickup game. I mean, it's he basketball one-on-one. On one. You don't do that. It, it, as bad as it was, that was a blocking foul. It was a foul Feet on were the defense. Yeah. He, was, he wasn't <laughs> set. Gavin's going to the line, 100%, if they're in the bonus right yeah. there. Um, Gavin's got, I mean, what, you could quickly tell he's got some game. He's got a smooth little spin, a little... Behind the back, and spin even move. when he was spanking him, there was uh, some athleticism. The wrist, yeah. you could tell he's done a lot of this. The follow through and the spank it was similar. That's true. If you have a, that's not you know Adrian Peterson. He got in trouble for beating his kid, but he was just spanking him. But when you're that athletic, how effectively you spank is just so much greater. Like no, no little unathletic dude has gotten in trouble for hitting his kid. It's yeah. like, come on, dad. And that's, you, you whiffed. But when you're Adrian Peterson <laughs> you and you're the, one of the most greatest athletes of our time, it, it's, it's tough. That's what I saw in Gavin Newsom. I saw an athlete who loves hugging kids on the ground. Mm -hmm. And if it wasn't so athletic, it wouldn't be problematic. It's shocking to see, though. Yeah, I have heard uh, Chinese kids, they have stronger bones. Really? Than like American kids. So I don't think yeah that kid shook it off he was fine. Do, do they drink more milk or? Uh no it's it's uh their training methods and stuff because you see those tai chi and what that they do a lot of bone density drills. Oh and yeah. It yeah. is amazing when you see those the footage of them like chopping through like wood and ice yep. and stuff. Yeah. Good bones. Yeah. So maybe it is the diet. I don't know about the rice or. Mm hmm. Beans, Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey. Yeah, <laughs> I think a lot of those Chinese kids are doing the Dave Ramsey thing. Yeah, probably. Um, but yeah, fun, fun clip. I was glad you guys hadn't seen that. Happy to be able to show that to you. Yeah, Just sure. Time. How does he made a comment on it? Is he good? Yeah. What's that? I don't know. Derek, do I'm, you know? I'm pretty sure China invaded Taiwan right after that. because. <laughs> so. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it didn't help. Yeah, did he? <laughs> He's, that's why politicians should be funnier. Well, like if, he just re, if he just retrieved that and just said blocking foul. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so many more people would like him. That's funny. Check up, kid. Yeah. Play some D. Stay in your ground. Um, at a press conference after the meeting, Newsom said that he... Oh, that's about why. That's why he went to China. The leaders also... Why did he go to China? Uh, him and XI... How do you pronounce that? Z. 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 Discussed ways to accelerate our progress on climate in meaningful and substantive ways. The leaders also discussed fentanyl. Oh, sick. And that's the end of the article. It's just Discuss fentanyl, just how great it is. <laughs> yeah. It is awesome. They talked sports. They talked climate change. A little bit of fentanyl. It's always just a little bit. Just a little. They also did a little fentanyl. <laughs> and then played basketball. I know yeah. Ted Cruz is good at basketball, right? Like, was is that he? his thing? He's right. a baller? So Ted Cruz versus uh, Gavin. Who, who do we got? Texas, California. <sighs> Oh, wow. Man, we did. I mean, the, the Paul brothers are onto something with these celebrity boxing matches. More celebrity competitions. You Gavin like, versus you Ted, like check up one on one. Yeah. That's wow. the only way they're fun to watch, probably. Wow. I mean, Trump has basically turned it into a, a rap battle. <laughs> just like, just like your, your mother, your dog. It's way entertaining. It would be more fun to see people just call each other on anything. It doesn't have to be 
hand to hand combat, but just like Trump versus Biden in a in a foot race. Oh, that wow. would be interesting. Arm wrestling, yeah, bicycling, yeah, it'd be tough for Joe. Maybe uh, just like just even like a history, just bowl. like a quick. What is it called when like you put your hands on mine? You're just like, <laughs> <laughs> just like that. Yeah, just see who wins that. Just I have beef. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> You're slow. <laughs> the slowest people. Some people say the slowest. <laughs> Joe Biden has to do the debates, right? Like, I if mean, we, if it, if he got Trump, out of it with COVID the last time. I don't know how he gets out of it again. Because you, to get, to become president, you can't skip those, right? You like, you kind of have to do them. Trump's been skipping them. No, I mean, if when it's Trump oh. and Biden, like the presidential debate, he skipped last time. I don't know. Oh, like, I don't see any world where which he can participate in that. But boy, would that be entertaining. Still like to see him race. <laughs> More of a foot race. <laughs> I mean, yeah. If he, they can't debate, then they can, yeah, race. They could even do power walking. Staring contest. <laughs> Try not to laugh challenge. Try not to laugh. Yeah, just the, uh, yeah, those like viral videos where they just read dad jokes and try to make each other laugh. They've each got like a mouthful of water and try not and to spit tortilla. it on each other. Yeah. Tortilla slap yeah. challenge. But yeah, the, one of them just drowns. <laughs> <laughs> like to see him plank, a little plank off. Oh, prank wow. war. You think they can blink? I don't know. Anything's possible. <laughs> tortilla. Oh, can we? Should we show the video of us doing the tortilla challenge? Or sure. would I get canceled? Uh, what I you think guys you do? would get canceled. I just, it was just exactly what I thought it would be. I was like, this will be okay. This will be kind of cute and fun. And Katie barely hits me. And I like did a 360 like backhand. <laughs> and she just immediately just swallowed the water. She's like, we're done. We're done. <laughs> 360 sweet though <laughs> yeah it was funny <laughs> and it's funny because like her friends watching it, it's just like when you smack your wife's tortilla you think it'll be funny and there's just me like oh no is that too hard oh and boy was like oh okay this is a bad idea yeah it's funny because i have watched all of the videos a lot of people doing it and and doing they're like it, giggle they're smacking each other and dying laughing yeah and it wasn't just wasn't before like warned. That. yeah it, it depends on who you're married to uh, <laughs> it was not kate when did we when were we at that august it was August then, of this year? Yeah. Man, it feels like forever ago I smacked you with a tortilla. <laughs> Maybe I just put it out of my mind. I think that it was, yeah, a lot of people like have fun because they kind of like are on the same like playing field and I was on one and you were on a different Yeah, I'm way one. too strong. Yeah, yeah. You were, there was a part of you that was kind of like impressed. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Is it on my phone or yours? You know, I'll be honest. It might be better just imagining you doing a 360 and slapping Katie. Yeah, because I think it's it, the way you're saying it sounds a lot cooler than what it like, <laughs> for sure. It's like, uh, dude, were you recording me wakeboarding? Can I see the footage? Like, oh, dang, I like barely got off the ground. Yeah, I, I mean, really felt like any, anything you're attached to a board skiing. Like, dude, I get some air. Oh, no, not on that one. Wait, is this it? Yeah. Should I watch it? F How about we watch it first? Then we decide if, if we're going to show people. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't, I don't know if it's 360. It might have been. An, I might have alley ooped myself. Just still a cool move. Oh yeah, it looks like she just kind of brushed Trey. She just brushes me. That's her mom watched it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, makes me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're done. We're done. <laughs> That was loud. Um, unfortunately, Trey's not in the shot. You only see Katie get smacked, so that doesn't look good. Yeah. <laughs> the 360 was not in frame. The 360 was cool. Do you remember that? <laughs> no, I do not. That was a good smack. Don't do it, kids. Yeah, so anyone, put me anyone, on the Patreon anyone who is uh, considering playing that game, I just wouldn't. <laughs> who do you shave for, Jake? You're looking nice and clean shaven. Who do you do it for? Uh, my self confidence. Uh, you're, you're, well, yeah, you do have a confidence value. You. Thank you. You know what it is? It's Harry's. Harry. <laughs> no matter why you shave, Harry says you cover for the best shave of your life at a price you will love. Get better quality and a better price than other razors when you get Harry's delivered right to your door. Mm. I got some Harry's. I got the products. I got the razors, clean shaven, mm. cream. That's I got. Nice. I even use it with a styling paste. Mm. Get rid of that like, neared. No neared up no in here, dude. Neared. Edge up that neared. The starter set is a thirteen dollars value for just three dollars mm. at Harry's.com slash tray. That is right. Uh, I love the packaging. It's clean. It's simple. And uh, no, my neared has never been smoother. 
Mm-hmm. Creams, mm-hmm. washes, lotions, you name it. Harry says the highest customer satisfaction in the shaving industry, dude. Oh, well, that's pretty good. There's no reason not to try Harry's. Uh, get your best shave ever with Harry's razors and skincare products. Get a $13 starter set for just $3 at harrys.com slash tray. That's harrys.com slash tray for a $3 starter set. Go get it. This episode is sponsored by Better Help. Whoa. Um, hey, you ever had a time you thought something was good for you? Yeah, but white the, bread. But your brain was getting in the way. <laughs> well, yeah, something like that. More mentally. <laughs> oh, but, okay. Yeah. Um, like I try to fall asleep at night and my, I just, I'm so tired of this with my right. My mind races. It races. Uh, my brain gets in its own way. So that's why I've tried therapy. It really helps. If you're going to try therapy, you should try better help. Therapy helps you figure out what's holding you back so you can work for yourself instead of against yourself. You know, like, you know what you should do, what's good for you, but you just can't do it. You ever feel that way, Katie? I completely understand. <laughs> wow, it's very uh, okay. Well, of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think there's a lot of people out there who've thought about doing therapy. This is your sign. You should. You should do it. I Get love it. Get out there. Help yeah. me. Yeah. It's entirely online. Better help. Uh, it's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give th- BetterHelp a try. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Katie, tell them the offer. Make your brain your friend with BetterHelp. <laughs> Visit betterhelp.com slash correct today to get 10% off your first monthly <laughs> first month. month. <laughs> That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash correct. Uh, all right. Let's, uh, let's, oh, we got a real quick shout out to, we've been, uh, we had a good weekend. We had a Halloween party. We had some babysitters. Yeah. It feels like we're doing I was going to ask thing. how the babysitter was. Um, we, Thomas is growing up. He's fun. He likes his little tunes now. Y'all, you ever heard of Slugs and Bugs? I have not. Derek, look up on Spotify, Slugs and Bugs. Derek, have you heard of Slugs and Bugs? No, not at all. We're actually. putting people oh. on it, man. Go uh, search Slugs and Bugs two shirts. It's kind of like two chains, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the wintertime. More biblical. So they're, yeah, they're, they just, they sing Bible verses. Okay, go off, Slugs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it a YouTube the channel? Just an artist, this Spotify. That's I wonder if it is on YouTube. Um, um, I'm not sure what their name is from. So it's like but... Slugs 2 Chain? Two shirts. Two shirts. No, they did not do a collab with Two Chains. <laughs> yeah. Yet. Yet. He broke every chain. Yeah. He broke yeah, every man. chain. There's Matt. Oh. Oh, I see. He is on YouTube. It's just an old man. All right. Ready? Yeah. Shout this guy out, dude. Go on. Let's go. Get it. Anyone who has two shirts should share with the one who has none. Anyone who has food should do the same. Slugs. Yeah. Slugs. 21. Who wants to be first must be the very It's kind of some advanced theology for us. The Not bad. The servant of all. There it is. Anyone has two shirts should give it to the one who has none. Bars. I mean, how do you find slugs and bugs? <laughs> one of our friends' moms is um, is bugs is in the bug, duo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he probably has SEO fired up if some for some like boomer mom Christian mom just Google's songs with Bible verses, and that probably comes up, and that's how she found it. Maybe SEO when you Google like what are the rules for the slug bug game? Next thing you know, you learn about two shirts. Yeah, I don't know yeah. the origin of the name. It'd be interesting. I don't either. Might but be a poet himself. It's <laughs> yeah. So Thomas, we have Thomas on that now. So he can learn his Bible verses. That's great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Two shirts. I think every week come come back with us a new new slugs hit. We'll find that. Okay. We'll find the next. Well, Two shirts has been popping up. <laughs> yeah, Thomas gets his little head going. Mm-hmm. So he dances. I Working felt the same on, way. Yeah. We're gearing up. Two chains will come. We'll get them on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, being sober. <laughs> mm-hmm. Songs yeah. like that. We wait until he's one to introduce him to that. Mm-hmm. When he can walk, he yeah. can do two chains. Yeah, <laughs> that is the motivation <laughs> for sure. Uh, but yeah, we had a babysitter, did the whole thing, went out and about. Um, it was a fun weekend. It was. It's just brutal. You go out and have fun, but your kid still wakes up at six thirty. I guess there's no remedy for that. There's not. No, we both, actually, we started I, napping with when he napped. There, okay. There was. You remember one of your sister's friends said that they just. They have the babysitter stay overnight and wake up with the kid. That's what it, I'm starting to understand that now. At the time, I was like, wow. gosh, that's a little much. But I mean, I, still I guess think if you it truly might be a wanna, little much. I, mean, I don't see us doing that. But yeah, if you really you want to go out and stay out till one, you're like, hey, you don't want to wake up at six. So then you do an overnight babysitter. Mm-hmm. Wow. 
Yeah. I feel like, yeah, that's for... Probably gets pricey. Yeah, that's for people in the in the top tax bracket, I feel like, but I get it. Yeah, for sure. That's a cool idea. We, yeah. We could... You could also just pay people to, like, raise it for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean... I think a lot of people like to do that, How old do they have to be to do boarding school? Boarding school. Is that still a thing? I, I think it is. I was always send him to an all-girls school. <laughs> You'll still be You'll a part be of his a life. Res God, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Riz God. People forget I was Did voted um, most W Riz senior year of high school. <laughs> yeah, that is. Not I was. What you were voted. <laughs> yes, I was. I mean, back then it was called biggest flirt. Yeah. Okay. You know this about me? Biggest flirt. W Riz. Yeah. Sorry. Biggest W Riz. It's aged well. I should have kept. I denied it. You didn't know. Have I told this story? I don't senior year of high maybe school. Maybe you told me and I didn't believe you. I had voted biggest flirt. I was appalled. I was trying. I thought to, you were shy. That the honest truth is, my senior year, I was like, you know what? It's time to grow up a little bit. I tried to get involved in things. I, I joined this or that, like Stuco or whatever. FCCLA. I don't know. Yeah, FCA, whatever. And I thought I was just being friendly and nice, fun guy. I don't know, you know, funny guy. Yeah, class clown. Class clown. Class clown. That, I got voted that, and they're like, "Hey, man, this is what you got voted." And I was like, "I, I turn, I turn it down." <laughs> and the guy was like, he walked into class and like announced, "I was like, I give it." He's like, "What?" I'm like, give it to second place. Double it. Give it to the next person. Double it to the next person. <laughs> and he was like, uh, "Okay." And yeah, I'm not in the yearbook. Good. <laughs> so, can you kind of give me an example? So you just joined FCA. Yeah, joined FCA. And I, I go. Am, and I'm like the, I'm the student FCA leader or something. Okay. And you come in. They normally don't I'm, look like you, Katie. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> and I come in. Go ahead. And you're, yeah, you're joining the club. You're just trying to be friendly. Just what, trying to be friendly. Yeah, yeah. So I come up and talk to you. Uh-huh, yeah. Um, are, and you're, are you hot? That's the only <laughs> way I would talk to you. <laughs> well, this might be why you were voted uh, Oh. Part. Well, it depends because if you're what's, just, what's your BMI? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't a flirt. But let's say there's two girls that lead FCA. One was a model, one wasn't. I would not even learn the other one's name. I'd go up to you and I'd be like, "Ew, um, hey, I don't like um, any of this." Can I pray over you for a second? Ew. And then I'd pray. You know, I was just trying to be godly leader. And then I tell them about the tell like, about the two shirts thing where you'd use the woman. Yeah, and I would be like, "Oh my gosh, your shirt is so small," which I like. You need more of it. I take my shirt off. Like yep. the yep. it's biblical. Good move. And I, you know, I was I'd uh, I'd go skinny six pack from being one sixty six one. This is all so gross. <laughs> <laughs> Slugs and bugs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't I think get it. I just Thomas. I just walk up to dozens of girls and be like, "How are you getting them jeans?" Uh, so funny, and they'd be like, "Well, and no." I'm being serious though. I was I genuinely thought I was just being a nice, friendly guy. I still am curious what that What'd was. you get? What'd you get voted? I got voted the top award, Mrs. East Coweta oh, High School. You were homecoming queen? And I was homecoming queen. What is the, what, where did you say? Cal I grew up Cal and my high school was East Coweta High School. Coweta. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yep. So. That's annoying. Were you homecoming king? We didn't do Kings. We were very, uh, the future is female in we, Stratford. Yeah, we didn't do it either. Yeah, it was only women got voted oh, wow. on stuff. Yeah, so take that. That's pretty, very that's progressive. pretty progressive. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. Wow. Yeah, no no prom king, no homecoming king, just uh, just the ladies. Interesting. I was usually escorting okay. those who voted, so I feel like in yes. a way, I was like, I think they're voting for me. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so I was a running mate. I was, I was trying to get votes. Like a girl would be like, hey, man, you need to come be my escort. Would well, be like during, you know, uh, not the term escort. <laughs> I, would, uh, I would always offer, anybody need an escort? Uh, yeah. Anybody? Male escort? Up happy for, to help. <laughs> up for grabs. Um, like in the middle of, uh, you know, halftime of the football game. Like, hey, we're going to bring out homecoming court. Oh, okay. Jake's going to be escorting Samantha Lurvey. I see. Samantha Lurvey is getting all the votes. Yeah. You're welcome, Sam. Yeah. Basketball. Halftime. Jake's got to come out. He's escorting Lauren. Obviously, Lauren wins. Interesting. We had our dads escort us on the field for homecoming. Oh, dad yeah. escorts. Mm -hmm. Well, she's from Atlanta. It was like a safety thing. Yeah. All right. <laughs> like, keep your head down. Uh, yeah, yeah, I didn't. We did them both, but I. you had to be a football player to be up for the running of homecoming king. 
Mm. I will say that probably should be a rule because every now and then, you know, you'd have three guys in full pads looking stud, they walking a girl down and you have a guy in like vans and loose fitting jeans. It's like, mm. Ooh, he doesn't look good right now. Yeah. I know. That's... Dang, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then there was what? There was another ward, I think, but you like the teachers were involved with that decision and be boy, careful. They didn't like me. <laughs> we didn't have that one. Oh, really, you weren't voting on yeah. the teachers. They were voting on the students. Like yeah, a, like the best student award. That was also, they, I don't know. It was like mm-hmm. dancing with the stars. Like the judges vote counts for like half. Oh, I see. So they we didn't were, have that. Yeah. Weighted average. Probably would have won that too. Teachers pet. She, do you sit up front always? Most classes. Oh, oh. I've, I don't think I've said this on podcast. I was telling you recently, my whole schooling, the entire career, however many years not once ever 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 did i volunteer or answer a question <laughs> <laughs> why would you do that when they're like what does anyone think about this or like does anyone know what this uh periodic table means N- zero times my whole life you're just so, kind of like drawing like somebody else will know yeah so like you prefer like oh, like our friends yeah, passivity who, it's coming our friends who are teachers and you just would no respect for teachers Oh, there we go. Go ahead and get ahead of the answer. Yeah, yeah. you <laughs> should. Oh, no. Hot take. Teachers, yes. dumb people. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No. I think you will get canceled. We're just start, <laughs> I think. The colored hair thing got me just into Let's go space. viral, dude. Let's go viral. We need to go viral. Service workers? What a waste. Yeah. yeah. Social worker? Oh, you have a hard life. Oh, <laughs> stupid. Go make money, dude. You know. Oh, I'm my joking. Gosh. Okay. Yes, we have teacher friends. That job would not be easy. What were you going to say? Yes. I mean, you just want them to stand up and monologue for an hour every... They were trying to just, like, make it a little bit interactive and fun so mm. they don't just stand up there and talk for an hour. Kind of like how you do crowd work. I feel like you want them to respond. Right? <laughs> That's a good point. I was <laughs> thank like, you, out Derek. Here? Thank you, Derek. Yeah. Oh, thank you, guys. Very, very mm-hmm. empathetic people over here. I really mm-hmm. appreciate that. I will now, say... Yeah, I, I'm not comedy... saying it was right, but that's what oh, I did. I see, I see. A comedy club is the exact same as a classroom. So you know, people should exactly. behave exactly how yeah. you would in a classroom. <laughs> For sure. It's the same exact vibe. I agree. Yeah, but me being forced to be there when I'm 14 <laughs> and someone paying to come. To sit in the front row. Yeah, yeah it's different. Same. <laughs> <laughs> but you were, you, t- you took your good little notes. And do people cheat off you? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. you're one of those girls. I, I'd sit, I so. I sat right next to Gabriella, dude. Yeah, I'm sure you did. She made good for grades. multiple <laughs> reasons. No, uh, she was a good, she was a great, sweet gal. Good grades. <laughs> <laughs> I was the uh, I was the math plug. I feel like people never needed me more than like a, you know, oh. a good bounce pass in basketball and the the math homework. That's where people Can't came. figure out this trig, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they came a running. So I was happy yeah. to help. Trig triplet, man. <laughs> Jake Triglett. Hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> That's what they call me, dude. Triglett 101. I could dude. see I could see why you were um not on homecoming court. He wa- he was the number one male escort. I, I, I did as much staffer. as I could. Yeah, I was I voted, best voted best escort. Voted best escort. Five stars, dude. I do remember feeling like the the internal battle, like, should I let them cheat off of me? But logically, I was just like, I mean, I've already done the work. Who cares? My grade isn't affected by how well it's not on a curve. Go go crazy, Trevor. You're a D it student. You need this. I was a better wow. student in college, and there's a class. Those random classes would be like, uh, you can make your own study guide, like open study guide. Oh, yeah. you get one you three by five own. note card. And boy, I had my friends chomping at me. Like, you got that done yet? Let me you copy that down. Copy that. And I'd go back and forth, of just being like, "Go for it, man!" And you're like, you know what? No, I did it. You can't. I think that's good. Yeah, you're like really putting in extra effort to set yourself up for success. But I agree with you because sometimes I didn't care. Sometimes you're like, no, you don't deserve it. It's just kind of a lame move too. You got to be boys with them. Mm -hmm. This is not for acquaintances. It's not people outside of the close friend story. For sure. Yeah. That's why you had to to buddy up with. uh, We had this one good friend who was a really good student. And there was one of those weird classes where you had like a clicker. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? I heard about the big schools having this. It's kind of their way of. Having you Counting participate, attendance, but also attendance. attendance. Yeah. Like you show, we're just going to reel off 10 questions here and you got to click in to see your participant. And we had a, I don't know, we had a good friend, Murph Dog, who <laughs> took all, five clickers with him and no, just did, did it every time. <laughs> yeah. Wow. He's a dog. He's a good yeah. friend. We definitely good had friend. that. But I was always 
too scared to give my clicker to someone. <laughs> I'll, just go. I'll just go. Brutal. Dude, they're going to know. They're going to know. I'm not going to be on the front row. They're going to know. Getting caught for cheating, you have to be a real dummy. <laughs> I mean, it's so easy to not get caught. You, I had a buddy who put in a, it's like a, it wasn't a multiple choice. Uh, some math class. Okay. You, yeah. Calculate and you write in the answer. And he just peeped someone and wrote it in, but there was different test versions. Oh. So oh. she just immediately was like, hey, man, you wrote in the right answer for a different board. <laughs> for test B. He was like, uh, yeah, I'm not getting out of this one. Uh, He's like, what are the odds? I would, <laughs> I mean, you're, this is statistics, right? What are the odds? <laughs> it is, you know better than anyone, it is possible. I, I wish that would have happened to me because you could argue that, like, tell you blue in the face. And she's it's like, no. Possible. Well, it's uh, w- statistics, right? Possible. <laughs> it is absolutely, po- very, very unlikely, but possible. Yeah. That'd be an awesome way to go. <laughs> so you made 100 on the wrong version. Possible. Possible. I mean, crazy unlikely. You show, you're like, you see this article? This guy got struck by lightning seven times. You think that can't be, but it was. It was. It was possible. <laughs> <laughs> He's cheating life, I'll tell you that. <laughs> no, that's, we, it, that's good. We, Because you went... You're, you went to a small little school. They didn't have test files, did they? No, it sounds like a, a show that would come on after CSI. It was just like you had a big enough school, enough classes, enough people, and people, you they just this guy would somehow steal this test and you'd pop, copy it around wow. and pass it around. And, or you'd just, I don't even feel bad, guilty about this because there'd be, a, there's like this old professor who gave out the same test for 40 years. Yeah. And yeah. so but it's like, yeah, at some point people got a hold of this and you just pass around and everyone goes and makes 100. It is pretty wild <laughs> in college. There's like full test banks, like online, like file systems set up where it's like type in my class, which class is it? Yeah, oh, people. What test do they have on file? Did it, my degree did not have that. <laughs> but other people said. had a challenging degree. You get a good old business degree from Oklahoma State. Mm-hmm. Man. She was dogging on. She's like, I went to Georgia Tech. I was like, man, to Thomas, I'm pushing him towards Oklahoma State, run to the family. She's like, he's going to apply to some better schools. <laughs> That's not what happened. That's not. I said, because I know that if he wants to go there, he can go there. But I'm just saying, he. I would like for him to apply to other schools as well. So he's other going to college. Oh, so either like Ole Miss. Boarding school. Better Texas. schools <laughs> than. If, if he can, you know. If he can get in. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I hope we don't have a dumb kid. Guess we'll see. Guess we will. Keep slugging and bugging him. It'll be yeah. all right. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. just glad he has a, an escort mentor. Yeah, I'll be there for him when he turns 17. Show him the ropes. Is that the, that the rules in Missouri? Um, 17? <laughs> I don't know. They may not have any. It's weird. People forget this whole state by state age of consent. Wild. I think we've all. Florida is like 14 or 15. Oh, what? No, 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 no. Yeah. I think because it, it seems well, by and large everyone's like 18. We're kind of on the same page. I don't want to look it up. You've never, I've never seen a, <laughs> I just haven't seen a celebrity or someone being like down in Florida. He got a, you know, this famous person ran around with a 15 year old. He's like, well, the state's rules. And everybody's like, oh, well, that's okay. I had no idea that it was any different than 18. Oh, like I think Texas is 16. I think Florida's 16. Some European countries, like Germany, is like randomly crazy low or something like mm. that too. Germany's got a bad track record. That's yeah. Jeez. But I don't. There's got. Are there weird little rules in place? Because like a 19 year old dates a 17 year old. Is there like stipulations? Romeo th- and Juliet. Yeah, yeah Capulet. I think there's got to be. Yeah, surely. I don't know. You think that's weird? 19 to 17. I don't think it's weird, but I'm just saying. Like, I doubt that there's like. You think that in the law, they're like, but if you're 19, caveat, if you're 19. Caveat, huh? Fine. That's how you pronounce that? Is it? Is it not? Divide your age by half. Add seven. I don't know. If I was a savvy yeah, 17 that... year old girl, I mean, the day my, like if I'm 16, I'm dating a guy, the day he turns 18, yeah, just file a lawsuit. <laughs> is that, yeah, that's what you do. There really might be laws in place. I'm reading something about the Florida statutes. A person 24 years of age or older who engages in sexual activity with a person 16 years of age commits a felony in the second degree. Yeah, so, so I think there, there is, is a little, little like gap in there. Though. Yeah. Good to know. Good to know. Well, the more so you'll... Disturbing. We're here to bring you the facts here on Cooked yeah, yeah. Happy to help. I'm going to delete that from the search history. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. We're good. Incognito. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I saw someone post too online. I've seen this a lot. The horoscopes. It's Scorp- Scorpio. Ta- Scorpios are... The- or this the bat they're so spicy the scorpio 
I, I, I don't know if I, talk, I can't wrap my head around how anyone would ever think your personality has anything to do with the day you were born, the time of it. What about the moon? <laughs> I mean, if you, if you think horoscopes matter at all in your life, you're just, you're either a Pisces, <laughs> you know, you're a Pisces of crap. That's what you are. Oh, wow. You're dumb. You're dumb. Oh, my because, gosh. Oh, I'm born in November, so I'm... I'm uh, late. Oh, it's hot now. Yeah, I'm late. <laughs> what? doesn't matter at all. Do you, you really want to loop yourself in with that? Okay, when was Hitler born? <laughs> April 30th. Oh, wow. Derek knows it. <laughs> yeah, do you know his birthday? <laughs> April 20th. Oh, dang it. 420. I love yeah. you just immediately answer. So April, what's April 20 horoscope? Is uh, what are you? What are you? Taurus. Taurus. So, oh, I'm such a Taurus. Wow, he's right on the cutoff between. Uh, uh, maybe that does matter. No, 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 it doesn't. April 20th zodiac song. It's the second sign of the zodiac. April 20th. If we, yeah, if we agree that when you were born determines how you end up. Hitler was born on April 20th. You're a Taurus. If you're like, oh, I was born in late April, so I'm I'm much more pre- you know I'm much more likely to commit genocide. But that's just I'm just a Taurus. I don't know. I'm a Taurus. Oh, sorry. What do you want me? To- that that was his big defense. April 20th. One day earlier, I would have been a totally different sign. Sorry. What do you expect? The horoscopes it blows my mind that people put any any thought into that. And uh, I'm a Scorpio, and I don't want to hear anything else about it. Yeah, I don't. I just don't. I feel like because most of the the characteristics are not like th- these special traits. It's like I was born in February. I'm a da da da, and so I'm pretty confrontational. Because you're born in February. Yeah, Taurus, hard headed, down earth, tenacious, reliable, loyal. Central. It sounds like that girl's spoken word. <laughs> <laughs> They're determined <laughs> and lazy. <laughs> Attractive, ugly. No, I'm not. I tell you what, you're like, what's your, what am I? What am I? I'm better than you. Oh, wow. <laughs> is it, is it kind of like the hot take right now that's going around the internet of if you're obsessed with celebrities, you are, have a lower IQ. Oh, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. <laughs> you're obsessed, obsessed with celebrity. It says you have a lower IQ, IQ. And guess what? You're obsessed with sports. Same deal. Same deal. So are you saying I have a low IQ? I'm just. Am I obs- I'm, I'm just reporting the facts. It is a nice gut check. It's a nice gut check. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I need to be obsessed with that. You were born in December. Okay, I'm checking here. It says you need to get a life. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. This is what it That's says. That's what it's reading today. I don't know if. Yeah, it's the moon maybe to blame. The tides. <laughs> it says if you're a Leo, you should try drowning on the Titanic. I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> That's just what it says. I mean, it's just that's that's zodiacs. Mm-hmm. Great movie. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get to uh, some fan videos. We will get out of here. Can you know your sign? Aquarius. Oh yeah, because you you um you should, you should know that shower and bathe and water. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. I, I like to be in the water. I'm like yeah. a, it's like a mermaid. Yeah. Mm, sure. <laughs> totally. I see. I hear you. Got the flippers for it. <laughs> <laughs> You are not wrong. They grew a little bit when I was pregnant, and I'm pretty disappointed. Grew? You had to get new shoes? Like, all my shoes are just Curl slightly up tight now. Interesting. Mm-hmm. It's pretty unfortunate when I already wore a size 10 and a half shoe. Dang. Can you guys share shoe shoes? Mode. Yeah. We not bad. Sh- not but yet. I'm... Not yet. Maybe after, <laughs> maybe after a couple of years. Well, women's shoes, kids. it's the width that's the issue. It's the same length. <laughs> but women's know. shoes are made narrow. Women have narrow feet. Yeah. They're not the same length. <laughs> the wool rocks They're the same exact they length. They are the same <laughs> exact length. Get your toes out. Let's see. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's go. What we got? We got a, uh, oh, Casey. He's wrote in a while back. As it's Casey again with another OBGYN story. And just because you asked, I work at US Steel in the pipe mill. Um, okay. This is kind of long, so I'll try to talk fast. Uh, before we went in for our anatomy scan, which I, turns out is just a cool way of saying another ultrasound, uh, my little brother was talking to me, and he asked me, he said, did, 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 does Emma have to eat like a camera with like on a cookie or something to see the baby? And you're probably thinking, oh, that's so cute. Like, six-year-old brother said that. No, he's 17. Just, <laughs> so we had to explain how all that worked. Um, but... Uh, one thing I didn't know about these ultrasounds is how aggressive they are. Like my goodness, like the lady who was doing it said that we had the most 
a stubborn baby she'd seen in like 10 years. She is like digging into my wife's stomach. <laughs> and I'm, I'm sitting here like, hey, lady, this machine or my wife's going to break. And I'd rather it be your machine, so <laughs> calm down. He didn't move like she wanted to. So I guess, you know, point my baby, uh, and, you know, whatever. But <laughs> the last thing that I thought was funny is we, we'd got a uh, blood work done. So we knew it was going to be a boy, but there's like a percentage chance that it's wrong. And so she's, you know, looking around and she gets to the bits and pieces and the she's like, oh, look at that hundred percent boy. Whoa. And I'm like, why would you say it like that? You know, <laughs> I know we live in like a woke age, but how often do you got to be like, oh, 82% boy, sorry, <laughs> dad, you know, but you know, whatever. That was it for this time. Maybe there will be more next time. Uh, but again, keep up the funny stuff. Peace and love guys. Appreciate you, man. hundred percent boy. We never got that. They didn't give us a percentage. Does that mean they weren't? He's been mistaken for a girl a few times. Several times, yeah. He might be 82. Man. Also, have you ever heard it described as the bits and pieces? Bits and pieces. We got down to the bits and pieces. I've heard of uh, like when you're like uh, your pits and bits, like things to clean. Pits and oh. You know, as your your kid is getting older, clean oh. your pits. Make sure oh, that's a cute way to say you're it. gonna bathe. Make sure you get your pits and bits. Oh, yeah. that's good. Your yeah. pieces and Pisces. I've heard that too. Mm. <laughs> Bits and Pisces. Mm -hmm. that's, that's yeah. That's what we'll teach them. It's <laughs> cute. What do you call it, Katie? Uh, I don't know. Are you guys gonna go uh, what? straight biology? Yeah, that is a good. That is a good parental question. Yeah. That Rachel would, would tell you that. as a social worker therapist, that's definitely recommended. To oh really? Yeah. To, to, to go use... like call it your like wing wong. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. To use call like your actual bar. You know, yeah, I think it's just open bubbles. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just like weird. Wow, you know, why? It's just better. It's just, let's just get to the point here. We don't need to beat around the bush. I think it's all call it like that, um, if that's sorry, beat around the pubes. pubes. <laughs> what's the what's the scientific term? I don't know. I want no. That's what the therapist know. says. <laughs> that is not. Do you want me to call Rachel and ask her that? that I know. Is the, not the <laughs> reference. Google it too. Yeah. <laughs> I got a, a pretty Sorry, weird what were you saying? This is better. I think it's better for like to, you know, protect your so your child from like sexual, you yeah, know, assault, yeah. molestation for them to know what's wrong and where they were touched and exactly why it's wrong, you know, rather than yeah. like, oh. you know, if it's like these playful terms, maybe they don't know as well, like to protect them and that other people shouldn't be touching them. Yeah. Where it's like if they're taught, you know, it might be uncomfortable, but teach them it for what this is. And so we'll we'll circle back on what we want to call it. I think we'll use scientific names, yes. I'm going to teach you something weird. <laughs> Spoon and fork. Your balloon animal. Oh, okay. Hot dog. I... Would you guys grow up? I think I grew up with pee pee. Yeah, yeah. That sounds for sure. Right. Yeah. For sure. Are you guys pee pee families mm -hmm. too? Wow, yep. three out of four. Mm -hmm. I so I don't remember. That sounds right. We'll go with that. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Oh, we have another fan video. Hey, Correct Opinions crew. Basic Utah mom over here. I love the podcast and I just wanted to share a couple things. First off, Katie and Trey, it does get better. Thomas is eight months old and to be fair, it does get better. I promise. Oh and then also, <laughs> I remember kidding, when I was two years old, almost drowning in my parents' swimming pool at the time. So you definitely can remember back when you're about two if it's years traumatic old, enough. at least I did maybe because it was a traumatic yep. experience it's so traumatic oh, oh. oh. there it is There's okay. a classic yeah that's a real classic uh, mom there she she only got half the video in but I gotta go what, I wonder what else she wanted to say we'll never know yeah thanks for uh, dialing in it gets better huh I know you it's, guys are at rock bottom right now it does get better every day it's easy now <laughs> no it was he's being very fun I feel like I say this every week, though, but it feels like yeah, the last you, couple weeks. I feel like you do say that say every... That lot, but it's like, progressing quickly. Now he can really sit there. He's crawling a little. He's just funny now. Like he, you, so you tell he's picking up things. Like I yeah. taught him like drumming, and then you get, hand him the thing, and he'll, he started to do it, which is backfire because it's very annoying. <laughs> Yeah, but it's cute for a while. Trey taught him all these like things that actually like really are annoying. Just make and, noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taught him the didgeridoo. He's picked that up <laughs> rather quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, we're going to Australia soon. He's learned the boomerang, how uh -huh. to throw it, and how yep. to play a didgeridoo. That's right. Um, well, I think it's an episode. 
I think it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let us know mm-hmm. your horoscope. Let us know your favorite and, uh, onomatopoeia. Reviews. Yes, and like, subscribe. Oh, you. oh, wait. Oh, we did. Speaking of Thomas, we are looking for a nanny. Oh, <laughs> wow. Using the podcast. Oh, we were going to mention that. We're trying to get Katie. Uh, we're looking for 60 hours a week. So you can. No. <laughs> oh. Counting naps. We're looking for like. A glorified babysitter, really. Yeah, like two half days or something like that. Um, That's cool. No, we had someone, we need to track her down. One, one girl for a while back, she's like, I am a licensed nanny if you need some help. Yeah, we're looking for like a legit nanny, like per, some of the, that is your profession um, that lives in the Kansas City area. What, yeah. Wow. Any horoscope work? Any oh, horoscope question. is fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about, does it matter where they fall in the Israel Palestine thing or wherever? Le, I mean, just, just list that if you do hit us up so we know. I don't know if I'm going to discriminate based on that, but it'd be good Please to know. Please don't yeah. list that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, cool. Okay. Nanny, Derek, huh. what do you need? I'm good. Okay. I'm good. Just making sure yeah. and nobody needs anything for the family. Cool. He's like a marriage counselor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. Uh, cool. Thanks, y'all. Thanks, y'all. We'll see you next week. Peace. Correct opinion.